Hi yogis, I'm Cassidy, and thanks so much for joining me for this heart opening flow. We'll be focusing on the neck, shoulders, and upper back throughout today's practice so that you can release some tension and open up the heart. Remember that this is your practice, so feel free to make any modifications you'd like and take it at your own pace. You don't need anything besides yourself for our practice today, but if you have a yoga strap or just a belt or scarf that you can grab, it might come in handy. Remember to leave a like and subscribe for free yoga classes every week, and let's get started with today's practice. We're going to begin our practice today in child's pose, so bring the big toes to touch, spread the knees wide, arms come long in front of you, and the forehead rests on the mat. Just beginning to settle in, close the eyes, and start to check in with the body, just noticing where you're holding tension, how the physical body is feeling today. And just really allowing the mind to come into this space along with the body. Just focusing on the present moment, letting distractions gently fall away. Just committing to being here for the next 30 minutes together. And then begin to shift your attention to your breath. Setting up a rhythm for the breath that you can stick with throughout your practice today. Finding long inhales through the nose and long full exhales back out of the nose. Maybe you find an ujjayi breath. I'll guide you through that. So take an inhale, fill up. And on your exhale, slight constriction at the back of the throat, making a sound like you're trying to fog up a mirror. We often call this our ocean breath or our Darth Vader breath. So just some different ways to contextualize kind of what that should sound like. So take an inhale. Exhale, slight constriction at the back of the throat. And maybe an ujjayi breath is working for you today and you want to continue this style of pranayama throughout our practice. Or maybe you just find a different rhythm, a different deep breath that works for you. Just making sure we're taking long inhales and long exhales. Creating space with every inhale and letting go with every exhale. And at this point, if you'd like to set an intention for your practice today, feel free to do that. An intention is something you want to focus your energy on. Maybe how you want to feel on your yoga mat today. Take a big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Sealing in that intention. Good. Take an inhale, child's pose. Exhale, thread the right hand and the right arm under the left armpit. Coming into our thread the needle stretch so the right temple is resting on the mat and you feel that stretch through the right shoulder. Good. Take one more inhale. And exhale, return to your child's pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're going to thread the left hand and left arm under the right, resting the left temple on the mat as we stretch out through the left shoulder. Take an inhale. And exhale to return to child's pose. And maybe you gently rock the forehead from side to side on the mat. And then just gently come up into tabletop onto all fours. Checking in here, shoulders are right above the wrists, hips are right above the knees. We're engaging the core, flattening the spine. 
With your next inhale, drop the belly and look up. Exhale, round the spine, press the ground away from you and look to the belly button. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. This is our cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, look to the belly button for cat. And close your eyes, travel through some cat cows on your own breath. With every inhale, dropping the belly for cow. And every exhale, rounding the spine for cat. Really just using the breath to guide you through this. And you're welcome to find intuitive movements here. So if you want to circle out the hips or look from side to side or really just find some movements that are feeling good in your body today, we'll find cat cow or any movements that are calling to you for another two breaths. So take an inhale and exhale. One last inhale, maybe cow pose. Exhale, maybe cat pose. And return back to tabletop. Good. From here, we're going to reach the right arm long in front of us and extend the left leg behind us, flexing that back foot. Take an inhale to lift. Good. Exhale, bring that elbow to meet the knee, crunching it in. Inhale to lift. Exhale, pull it in. We'll find one more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Good. Inhale to lengthen. And then maybe from here you reach around and grab onto that back foot. If you can't find it, no worries. And if you have that back foot, kick it into the hand and open up through the chest. Take a big inhale. Exhale and come back to tabletop. We'll find that little sequence on the other side. And I do want to mention that part of opening the heart and finding heart opening postures, we'll be getting into dancer's pose, things like that throughout our practice today. It's also really important to strengthen and fire up the core a little bit before we move into those postures. So take an inhale, reach the left arm in front of you and the right leg behind you, flexing the back foot, Inhale to lift a little bit higher. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to lift. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to lift. Good, last time. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale to lengthen. And then maybe you reach around and grab that back foot. If you have the foot kicking it into the hand, feeling that chest open, looking up, big inhale. Exhale and come back to tabletop. From here, we're just going to sit back onto the heels, coming into hero's pose. Interlace the fingers and flip the palms to the sky, extending the arms up. Good. From here, take an inhale and puff the chest up. Good. Exhale, round the spine, concaving in. Good. Inhale, pull the chest forward. Exhale, press back and find these cat cow movements on your own. So just a little bit of a different way to warm up the spine and the ribs. Take one more round of breath. And then just release the hands by the sides. Take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. And just take a moment to feel the thumbs pressing into that heart chakra area. Feeling that heart energy and opening up the heart to whatever experience that you have on your yoga mat today. Good. From here, plant the hands right behind you. The fingers can point out to the sides or point towards you. And then just press into the hands and pull the chest forward, opening up the heart. Feeling that expansion through the chest here. Take an inhale. Exhale to release and just work your way back into tabletop. Good. From here, tuck the toes, press the hips up and back. Coming into our first downward facing dog of today's practice and begin to pedal out the feet. Waking up through the backs of the legs. And we'll meet back in a still downward facing dog. Heels are pressing towards the mat. 
We're pressing through the fingertips, taking some stress off of the wrists. Good, ears are between the biceps, the triceps are spinning in towards the front. Take an inhale, reach the right leg up, three-legged dog. And bend the knee, stack the hips, and open up. You can take some knee or ankle circles here. Good, with your next inhale, straighten out that top leg, square the hips to the mat. Exhale, step that foot in between the hands, coming into low lunge. Good, from here, left hand will stay planted on the mat. Option to leave that back knee lifted or release it to the mat. And take an inhale, spin open with the right. Coming into a twist, big inhale. Exhale, release that hand back to the mat. Good, from here, release that back knee. And inhale to sweep the arms up, coming into our crescent moon. Shoulders are relaxed, fingertips and crown of the head are pulling up. Take an inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, shift the hips back and flex the front foot for half splits. Maybe you begin to walk that hand a little closer to the front foot. Good. Just settling in with every exhale, allowing yourself to let go. Take one more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms back up and shift your weight forward back into crescent moon. And we're going to move into eagle arms. So extend both arms straight out in front of you palms face one another, and then just bend at the elbows. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. We're going to tuck the right arm under the left and just twist the arms around one another until you find a point where you can grab on. This is our eagle arms. And if it isn't feeling good in your body, you can just give yourself a big hug. Instead, it'll have the same effect. If you're in those eagle arms, think about pulling the hands up and away from the face to open up through the shoulders. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. We're moving into a little bit of a balance challenge here. So leaving those arms in eagle arms, we're going to launch onto that front leg lifting up that back leg and coming into warrior three so leaving the arms right where they are hips are square to the mat flexing into that back foot good hips are square take a big inhale lengthen through the back leg good and then slowly bring that left leg all the way through coming into a high march arms are still in those eagle arms take a big inhale Exhale, just release the leg, unwind the arms, and shake it out. Good. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, we're going to find cactus arms opening through the chest. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, keep a flat back, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands, step back to plank, and we'll set up our vinyasa flow. So inhale to shift forward, exhale, lower halfway or all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, shine the heart forward, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good, take a big inhale through the nose, fill up. Open the mouth and let it all go. <sighs> Remind yourself of that intention. And this is a tricky sequence, so we'll try it once more on the other side, but just be gentle with yourself. Take an inhale, reach the left leg up for three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hip, and open up. Option to take some ankle or knee circles. With your next inhale, straighten out that top leg. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands at the top of the mat for low lunge. Chest is lifted. Good. From here, right hand plants on the mat and take an inhale to spin open with the left. Remember, option to release that back knee. Inhale, open up. Exhale, release that hand back to center. 
and then release the back knee. Take an inhale and sweep the arms all the way up. Crescent moon. Shoulders are relaxed. Take an inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, shift the hips back, and flex the front foot for half splits. Settling in a little bit deeper with every exhale. Just allowing yourself to release and let go, pushing right to the edge of that comfort zone. Good. Inhale, shift the weight forward and reach the arms all the way up. Shoulders are relaxed. And we're going to move into those eagle arms on this side. So extend the arms straight in front of you. Good. Palms face one another and then bend at the elbows. This time we're going to wrap the left arm under the right. Good. Twisting around until you can grab on and lift up and away from the face. Maybe you're just giving yourself that hug instead. Either way, just stretching out through the shoulders. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Just begin to prepare. Shift the weight onto that front foot. And as you're ready, lifting the back knee off of the mat and shifting into our warrior three. Lifting that back leg parallel to the mat. Flexing that back foot. Good. Take a big inhale. Lengthen through the full body. And then slowly bring that right leg all the way through to a high march. Arms are still in eagle arms. Good. Inhale. Find balance. Exhale. Release the leg. Unwind the arms and shake it all out. Inhale. Reach the arms all the way up. Good. This time we're going to interlace the fingers and point the pointer fingers up for a steeple grip. Take an inhale. Exhale, just allow the hands to fall to the right side, opening up through the side body, just feeling that breath flowing through the ribs and creating space. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, side body stretch to the left, opening up all the way from that hip crease up through the fingertips. Inhale, come back to center. Good. Separate the hands and on your exhale, keeping a flat back as you fold forward. Inhale, find a halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to high plank. Always an option to drop the knees. And you can move straight back to downward facing dog or flow through a vinyasa with me. Just take an inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower half or all the way down to your mat. Inhale, shine the heart forward, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press the hips up and back, coming into our downward facing dog. Good, maybe you pedal out the feet. Let's take a breath together. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, sigh it out. And just gently release the knees to the mat. Coming into tabletop, good, and then we're just gonna come into puppy pose. So keeping the hips right above the knees, we're just gonna begin to walk the hands forward, resting either the forehead or the chin on the mat. Just feeling that opening through the upper body here. Take one deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Slowly rise back into your tabletop and then tuck the toes and come back into downward facing dog. Take an inhale, bend the knees and gaze forward. Exhale, step the feet to meet the hands, forward fold. Head and the neck are heavy. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. I'm just going to leave them here or just release them by the sides. And we're going to be moving into our dancer pose, which is kind of our peak pose for today's practice. Now that we've opened up the upper body and engaged the core, done all those good things to warm the body up for this posture. 
So I will be providing the option for you to use that strap or belt, scarf, something similar if you have that nearby. So we're going to begin by grounding into the left foot, just setting up that strong foundation, and then grab onto the outside of the right foot with the right hand. Inhale, extend the left arm up towards the sky. And on your exhale, begin to kick that foot into the hand. Good. And maybe you begin to hinge forward. And this is our dancer pose. So this takes balance and it's a heart opening posture and it can be a little tricky. So this is one variation of it. If you'd like, you can take that strap, belt, scarf, whatever it is, and use it as an extension of your arms. So wrapping that around the foot, just like this, and then moving into dancer's pose that way. So just play around with your dancer pose a little bit on this side. Good. And if you reach the pose and you feel nice and balanced, just taking some deep breaths. Take one more inhale wherever you're at and exhale, just release, shake it out. We'll try it on the other side. So begin to ground down through the right foot, setting up that foundation. Shoulders are relaxed, feeling strong and powerful. And then grab onto the outside of the left foot with the left hand. Take an inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, begin to kick that back foot into the hand. Lowering that front arm down as you lift that back leg up. Maybe you're using your strap as an extension of the arms. Good, and just playing around here and having fun with some of these tricky poses. You might wobble, you might fall out, and that is totally fine. And the best part is you're at home. Nobody can see you. So just be gentle with yourself. Remind yourself that it's okay to fall out. Just get back to it and try again. And if this pose is just not working for you today, that is totally okay as well. Let's take one more inhale wherever you're at. And exhale, just release and shake it out. Great job. So we're going to make our way back into downward facing dog at this point. So you're welcome to take some movements that you need and work your way there. Good. Otherwise, I'll be cueing you to downward facing dog. So take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, step back to plank. An option to flow through a vinyasa or just move straight to downward facing dog. Whatever is working for you today, whatever your body needs. When you arrive back in that downward facing dog, maybe you're pedaling out the feet a little bit more. This is our last downward facing dog of today's practice. Let's take an inhale, exhale, and just return to tabletop. Good. Core is engaged nice and strong. And we're going to leave the right hand on the mat. Take an inhale and spin open with the left. Good. So opening up nice and big here. And then we're just going to begin to sway back and forth. So sending the hips back as you pull the arm forward. And then pulling the hips forward as you extend the arm back. And just finding this swaying motion back and forth, opening up the shoulder. Maybe you take some full circles. Just letting this be a moment of intuitive movement. Opening up through the shoulder and the side body. Return to stillness, take a big inhale, open up. Exhale, return to tabletop. And we'll find those stretches on the other side. So right hand stays on the yoga mat. Take an inhale and spin open with the left. Good, and then send the hips back as you draw that arm forward. And then switch, pulling the hips forward, opening up with the arm. 
and just find your own rhythm here, letting the breath guide you through this, just swaying back and forth. Good, one more breath. And return to stillness, take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, come back to tabletop. Good, take an inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, round the spine, look to the belly button. And take a couple more rounds of cat-cow. Any other movement that's calling to you in your tabletop. And then return to stillness. From here, we're just gonna gently make our way into a comfortable seated position. So I'll be cross-legged, but find something that works for you. Good, shoulders are relaxed, sitting up nice and tall. Take an inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, bring the right hand onto the left ear. Good, and then allow the right ear to fall off towards the right shoulder. So just finding this stretch through the neck and we're using that hand to just intensify it a little bit. Good, come back to center, release that hand. We'll switch sides, take an inhale, reach the left arm up. And then that left hand will grab onto the right ear. Good, allowing the head to fall towards the left shoulder. Just feeling that opening. Take an inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to center and release the hands. Good, from here we're gonna interlace the fingers and then place the hands behind the head. And then bring the chin to the chest, looking down. Just using those hands to resist gravity a little bit and really open up the neck in all directions. Here we usually hold so much tension in these areas of the upper body and then just gently release. Good, we'll find a few shoulder rolls. So begin to roll the shoulders forward, nice big exaggerated rolls. And then roll the shoulders back. Good, really exaggerating these, bringing the shoulders all the way up to the ears each time. And then just return to stillness, just shrug the shoulders out. Good. Bring the legs long out in front of you. Take an inhale and reach for the toes. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the back. And when you arrive, hug the knees into the chest. You can take some rocks from side to side or back and forth. Giving yourself a little back massage here. And then plant the feet onto the mat. We'll be moving into bridge pose. So we will find two rounds of bridge pose. I'll be guiding you into traditional bridge today, but if you have a block nearby and you want to slide it under the tailbone, you're welcome to find supported bridge. Or if wheel is in your practice, you are welcome to find wheel as well. So just cueing us into our regular bridge pose today, but remember you can find a variation that works for you. So feet are grounded and knees are pointed up towards the ceiling. Good, hands are at the sides and press the hands into the mat. Take an inhale and lift up. Good, through the center of the body. Try to release the glutes so we're not squeezing so tight. Take an inhale, exhale and release. Maybe allowing the knees to just fall side to side. We'll find one more round, option to find wheel or supported bridge as well. Good, so pressing the hands into the mat as you take an inhale and lift through your center. Good, rising up, maybe you roll the shoulders under the back. Take an inhale, exhale and release. Good, hug the knees into the chest. From here, we're just gonna allow both knees to fall off towards the left. Right hand comes out to the side, head looks to the right, and the shoulders plant on the mat for a supine twist. Take an inhale. Exhale, settle in. Inhale, return to center, hug the knees into the chest. And exhale, allow both knees to fall off towards the right. Left hand comes to the side, head looks to the left 
and the shoulders stay planted on the mat. Take an inhale. Exhale, let go. Inhale, bring the knees back into the chest. From here, just grab onto the soles of the feet, finding our happy baby. And smile. You can take some movement here if that's calling to you. And as you're ready, just work your way into your final resting pose today. Shavasana, corpse pose. Close the eyes, just lying down. And as you settle into your final resting pose, just allow yourself to let go of distractions and release into this space for a little bit longer. Place a hand over the heart and a hand over the belly. Allow yourself to just fully feel each inhale and each exhale. The belly rising and falling with every breath. Feeling that heart energy that we cultivated today expanding out from your heart center. And just find stillness for a little bit longer. As you're ready, just begin to bring some subtle movement back into the body. You can wiggle the fingers and the toes. Take an inhale, reach the arms overhead and take a big full body stretch. And then roll onto either side and find stillness for a moment here. Tell yourself something that you love about you. That's something we don't do enough. As you're ready, make your way into a comfortable seated position and gather the hands at heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for this heart opening flow and I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe and if you're looking for more full length heart opening yoga classes, I've linked my heart opening class bundle below. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you.